Okay, today I am debuting the Garrison Tote All Leather in Natural, and this is coming to me from Winter Session out of Colorado. Still doing things in small batches. I love artisan bags, so that's, uh, that's key for me before I'll review a bag. This natural leather, you can see it's already gotten a sort of patina, and let me just show you the difference. You can tell this bag has been lightly loved, because here is the crossbody. And note this really hasn't been used. You can see this sort of subtle change in color because natural leather, the more you use it, the more you pick it up, the more it gets your oils from your hands and that coffee that you spilled and that, that sort of time that you got caught in the rain. So it tells this great story of all your travels right there on the leather. That's what natural leather is. That's kind of the beauty of it. And let me just show you the bottom. So you can see that doesn't see a lot of sun or get touched a lot. And you can see the difference there in the color. Um, but before we get into the bag, I just want to talk about the exterior and the features for a minute. So the biggest thing that struck me about this bag, because I was, I saw it on Instagram and I said, oh, I want to, I know somebody that has it. And I said, I want to demo this bag and, and just check it out. Um, and I was so surprised. And let me just do this. And I have it probably 75% packed out. Just how lightweight this bag is, um, despite all this awesome hardware and the additional details, the rolled handles, um, the clips here, the fact that they took the time to do four of these rings. And the reason that they did that is because, so the one, normally what you're used to seeing is rings here to facilitate crossbody carry, right? Um, but it's a way smarter and an upgrade to have the four. Reason being because if you're gonna go crossbody, you want them opposing, right? The closest one to your back, so it hugs you, and this one to the front, so it still allows you to sort of look inside without keeping the bag totally open, so you don't want it on the same side. And if you wanted to, and let me just do this really quick, and if you wanted to sort of wear it behind you, obviously you would do the safety, safety tab, but you can move them to the same side, and then it rests really nicely along your back. Um, so it's just a nice feature and it tells me that someone took the time to make this bag the absolute best way that they can. The other thing, and I'll put a still at the bottom if you can't see this, is everywhere they've put in these three rivets to hold the rolled handles. They've outlined it in leather and it's not something that you really see or notice, but again, it's just another detail of a well-made bag. The seams are on point, the rivets are on point. They have three, not two. It's a rolled handle. Everything about this bag is just quality. No pockets on the exterior. It has a nipple rivet here, and you can kind of see under the nipple rivet the change in leather. So that's kind of what it will look like when it comes to you, and then it will darken and deepen into this sort of beautiful used color, this patina. There is this tab for closure. It has one setting, so it can't be fuller than this if you want to use the tab for closing it. A little awkward doing this on the chair so I apologize it's not hard to do this tab at all so that's that um and let's get into the bag when I looked at this bag the first thing I thought was how would I use this bag would it be something I'd use every day take it to work it can certainly house my laptop and everything I need for work but when I got the bag and when I put it on I felt like this is more of an occasional bag this bag would be phenomenal for when I take my daughter swimming because she has swimming classes and between her towels and her wetsuit and her change of clothes after and her shoes and all that stuff, it doesn't fit in my bags, but it will fit in here. Um, and I realized that's kind of a unique use and not helpful to everyone. So I wanted to pack it out with something that would be helpful to you. So I see this being the first piece of luggage that comes out of the car when you do an overnight trip or a short kind of weekend getaway because you have all this luggage and when you roll into the hotel late at night, like we always do, you're always wanting the essentials. Your toiletries, you wanna to wash your face, put on your pajamas, and you sort of wanna be done. The rest of the stuff, it can trickle out of the car slowly or it can wait there um, until the following morning. And that's how I see this bag, so I packed it accordingly, just so you can get an appreciation for the depth of this bag. So the first thing I did was I put on sort of comfortable shoes um, and I put a pair of Toms in here. And then I put, my makeup bag, and this also doubles as like a little purse, it has D-rings here, so if I need to pop out, I can just throw a strap on here and use this as my kind of everyday purse. 
I put a men's dog kit with a handle that's so nice because then it slides in the bag and I can pull it right out. Uh, no issues there. Very generously, generously sized and fits all that stuff fit left to right. So it wasn't even stacked on each other. And then at the bottom, I packed my most favorite pajamas on the entire planet. So I wear thermals to bed. So this is long sleeve thermals and long um, bottoms. It's very thick, sort of cumbersome, but there was still probably 25 to 30% of the bag um, that could have been packed out. And then I'm gonna swing it around and just show you the single open interior pocket and kind of what I love about it. So let me flip it this way so I can see it as I talk to you. What's really smart about it, first of all, is that it doesn't start here, it starts here. That means things aren't gonna fall out of your bag. No one's reaching in and pulling things out of your open pocket either. When this giant tablet, this is the larger of my two, is in that pocket, there's only this much sticking out. It's a very, very deep pocket. It's not wide enough to do this, but it's, it's got extra room here, probably another inch or two. And with this in it, there's still plenty of room. And I tucked behind it just a simple wallet where I might throw like um, my hotel key and cash and a credit card and ATM, my driver's license, etc. So when I pull into the hotel, it's right there. Kind of an easy grab and go. And that's it. And you could have easily fit more. I could have fit my husband's pajamas in there, etc. But I just wanted to kind of show you what it can do. This bag, um, so it's to summarize, it's amazing for a few reasons. One, the incredible level of detail. Two, the fact that it's still light, um, despite all of the additional hardware and all the finishing touches. Three, it's a unisex bag. And four, it is deceptively deep. It has a ton of capacity for what looks to be just like a average size bag. It's not, um, it can hold a ton. This is the Garrison Leather Tote from Winter Session. Thank you so much for watching.